Google may have decided not to buy Twitter months ago, but that doesn't mean it doesn't want at least pieces of the company, let's say. Joining us to talk about Google's fabric acquisition is Matt Weinberger from Business Insider. How's it going, Matt? Doing okay. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. It's great to get you back. It's been a while since we had you on, yeah. so I'm happy to get you on for this. Uh, first, explain a little bit about why Twitter created fabric a few years ago and kind of what the what what it why it exists, let's say. Okay, so what Fabric is, is a set of tools for that help app developers build their apps, monetize their apps. It helps them know who's using their apps how. Uh, just a set of tools for that purpose. Uh, why Twitter made it? That's kind of a big open question. And apparently now, almost three years later, they couldn't answer it. Uh, and so it is over at Google. Yeah. So, and, and I mean, this is really about mobile analytics. Fabric is, uh, many would say one of the most popular mobile analytics platforms around. Um, sure. was this, uh, was, was shedding this property, do you think a bad move in the long run for Twitter? I mean, Twitter's kind of had a, had a tough year. It's really trying to kind of reinvent itself and mm -hmm. prove itself, grow users, all that kind of stuff. This seems a little bit outside maybe of its core competency, but do you think in the long run this might be a, a bad decision for Twitter to get rid of? Not at all. I think, as you say, that Twitter's had kind of a rough year, uh, that they need to focus on what they're good at, which is enabling Nazis to yell at politicians or something. Uh, but, the, but the fabric technology, um, really fabulous. Developers love it, but it never really fed back into usage of Twitter. In the same way, like you look at Facebook has Facebook login and Facebook offers several similar services as Fabric to developers. Mm -hmm. But the difference there is that, uh, you know, Facebook login and all that kind of feedback in the more you use Facebook login to log into Spotify or whatever, the more you're going to use Facebook and the more that's all tied together with your social graph, whatever, because Twitter's more anonymous, because Twitter is less identity based than, say, Facebook, you know, Fabric never really played into that core social network stuff. So it never really made a ton of sense why they would spend so much time and energy and effort on it in the first place. Hmm. So what's in it for Google? Is this really about the technology or is this more of an Acu hire, Aqua hire where they're trying to get more mobile developers on their team? So a couple of years ago, Google bought a company called Firebase that also does mobile analytics. Um, and it's and, and the, the Fabric team is going to be joining up with Firebase under Google's developer tools division. Um, and it kind of makes a lot of sense for them because Google also has the cloud platform, uh, which they're really pushing as a way, as a perfect place for developers to build the stuff that their apps work on. Um, and, and, you know, Fabric is a tremendously attractive set of technologies. If I'm a developer, if I'm developing an app either for iPhone or for Android, I'm going to need something like Fabric or Firebase or both to really monetize my apps and, and to really get them out there and really build the best app that I can. So from that perspective, it feeds right into Google's cloud strengths, even if not their search strengths. We've seen a lot um, over the past couple of years of Twitter's kind of, let's say Twitter Twitter was strong when it was very pro-developer and it had quite a few mm. years where it was really focused on developers. I feel like this was kind of part of that. Shortly after Fabric comes along, it really feels like Twitter did an about face and started to pull away from developers, away from kind of allowing developers to create you know, uh, uh, unencumbered and, and com you know have complete access to uh, the stream sure. behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff. Um, is is this kind of another signal that Twitter really is not focused on on kind of relating to developers in that way anymore? Is this just kind of Twitter yeah. saying, yeah, we we started this a while ago. This is another piece to that puzzle. Well, it's just kind of funny because back in 2015, Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, he got up on stage at the Twitter Flight Conference. And he got up there and he said, you know, we really apologize that the comp that relationships between Twitter and developers have gotten so complicated. We're here. We're listening. We want to make it right. You know, please come up to my team here and tell and go on Twitter and tell us what we're doing wrong. So we really want developers to love us again. Then in 2016, they didn't have the Twitter flight conference at all. And then in early 2017, they spun off Fabric to Google. So, yeah, I think that Twitter... Twitter is not so worried about the developer relationship anymore uh, in search of improving the core product. Sure. And then, you know, like I said, at the, at the beginning of this segment, uh, there were uh, there were rumors 
at least mm -hmm. at, towards the end of last year, that Google might be interested. Google is one of many companies that might be interested in buying Twitter. Right. No one ultimately ended up buying Twitter, at least at this time. Um, but Google's buying a chunk of Twitter in this regard. Uh, does this kind of make it even more, in, in your opinion, does this make it even more of, of a case where Google is kind of avoiding or, you know, it's just not necessary for Google to pick up Twitter at this time. They're getting pieces of Twitter instead. That's right. They, they're, they're buying... <laughs> Like they're buying not just the fabric tools, but it's I wouldn't say it's exactly an aqua hire, but they're also getting a healthy chunk of the talent that that comes from Twitter and yeah. knows what makes Twitter tick. Um, so they're getting some real value for whatever they paid out of this beyond just the software. And then Google, like as much as it would make some sense strategically, especially since Google isn't so good at social. Buying Twitter at this point would just be inheriting a whole mess of problems that they probably don't even want to deal with. So this is kind of having their cake and eating it too. Yeah. Do you sure. see? Do you see a future where there's just like a yard sale, a Twitter yard sale, with pieces of them? I mean, we saw Vine. Did they? Did? Yeah. Did, is there any news that we they tried to sell that before they converted it to Vine camera? Like, do we do we think yeah. there's going to be pieces for sale? So the report was that Twitter couldn't find a buyer for Vine. Uh, who knows how true that was, but but that's that that that's the word on the street, as it were. And I think that Twitter is kind of learning this discipline around its core product, especially given that those bids last year didn't really seem to work out for the company. I think they're really trying to pare down into something leaner and meaner, uh, rather than have all of these things that while you know while users love them, or in the case of Fabric, that developers love them, they really got to focus on. That that social networking, that 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 tweet stream, versus six second looping videos or any of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, work on the stickiness of the platform and just right. kind of explaining to people why they need to be on it. Um, other than following modern politics, which seems to be what is a big part of Twitter mm -hmm. these days. Man, the the feed has changed a lot in in, uh, in right. 12, 12 months. Um, Matt Weinberger, Business Insider, really appreciate you coming on and, and talking yeah. to us about this tool and and everything That's that you do. Where can people follow your work online? Uh, you can follow me at businessinsider.com or I'm at Twitter at Gamoid. And I think it's on the bottom of your screen, which is cool. Yes, we do that yes. just for yes, you. Yes, it's handy. <laughs> Thanks again, Matt. Thanks, we'll talk Matt. to you soon. Thank you. Right. Bye. Have a good night.